this is about Eastern Bar, uh, first street life. We primarily uh, handhold foreign investors to come to India. We, we stay with them for a year or two or maybe even three and see that uh, they are settled in India. If they want our services beyond that, we are that. But normally it's a one to three year relationship that we have. We are into uh, mainly to uh, financing. We are in finance for renewable energy projects. We have large MOUs, but still we don't have a PPA. Shuklaji you was helpful in getting us a large PPA, a large uh, project in Chhattisgarh, but we are still struggling to get a PPA there. Uh, we look into both debt and equity. We handhold a developer for all his requirements, right from the government clearances to whatever that is required to get the, get a project moving. Well, I'll briefly tell you what are the opportunities for solar in our country. Uh, there are various success stories when it comes to rooftops. Gujarat has seen a rental roof policy. Karnataka has really the net metering probably they are the they are at the top of the country in net metering. Textile belts in Coimbatore are using the roofs for generating power. The National Green Energy Front provides a thirty percent subsidy. And there is also allocation of about 5,000 crores between now and 2019-20 for implementation of solar rooftop projects from the government. There are the solar city initiatives of the government. These are very large initiatives. They want to develop 60 cities and 33 solar parks. Uh, on the, the next initiative of the government is the smart villages. The government is going to develop around 2,500 smart villages by 2019. There is this government mission launched by the government recently. This is where you bring in a cluster of villages and try to develop them. This is a very good concept and probably where villages will then start competing with cities. And there will not be a migration happening from village to cities. We talk about microgrids. We talk about street lights. These are very large programs by the government. And Tamil Nadu government has implemented a program of thousand, thousand villages all working on solar street lights. And then the concept of smart grid. This really, if smart grid is really implemented, the, they say that up to 20,000 megawatts of power can be released from the system. If you just utilize your power in a very scientific way. Clean energy is a very big concept that the government is trying to push. Specific about the government initiatives. This is the Shan Prasad Mukherjee urban mission of the government. This is a very good initiative by the government. About 400 million people still lack electricity in India. There are, the, there are various schemes where the government that are uh, sponsored by NOD, NABAD. Now everything is being shifted to EGEDA. EGEDA will be the nodal agency for all the jobs that NABAD was doing. Yeah, the government has launched this uh, Sunset Adarsh Gram Yojana that is that 2,500 villages across the nation will be through solar. Yeah, just I will quickly touch on the two models for the solar rooftops, the CapEx and the ESCO model. The CapEx model, if you see the bottom of the slide here, this is a very innovative scheme. Back of course, these are primarily for companies that have that are cash positive, where the equity comes from the savings that you make on the tax, and the debt is repaid by the arbitrage that you get on the electricity bill. Yeah, any on the risk model, I think the other it has been already been addressed. We will talk during coffee break. Or anything you can contact me, I'm always available. 
and thank you, thank you organizers for giving us this opportunity.